Nice. I don't know, I feel like something's missing. It's good, but some something's something's missing. Uh let's get some footage, I think. If you are working on like large scale environments, especially outdoor environments, then you have to get a lot of footage and it's a tedious process because if you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars to buy finalized footage, then you have to like go to like Sketchfab or CG Trader or whatever sites you're getting your assets from, download them, download the free assets and then correct all those issues they have because they are free. So obviously we'll have some, right? So such as texturing, such as sizing, like you have to resize them, such as uh, uh, weight painting, so you can apply wind to it, right? So you have to do all those things and this is really tedious and re really time consuming. So what I did was that I went to Sketchfab and I went to CGT and I downloaded some free assets, uh, like 50 or something, um, that is just foliage, uh, so just grass and flowers and mushrooms and stuff. And then I corrected the textures and resized them and uh, vertex painted them and, and I did everything. Now, in this video, you will find a link in the description, I believe, that has all these assets. I might even release the Unreal Engine 5 um, project file that you're seeing right now after we imported everything and finalized everything, or you can just follow along. Now, the first thing I want to state is that these foliage assets, everything that you will see in this video is Obviously not mine, it's from Sketchfab and CG Theater and stuff. So now, if you downloaded the files from the description, you will find the credits uh, text document that has all the assets, names and artists and links to Sketchfab. So it's obviously not mine, but as you will notice, every single one of them has um, CC attribution, which means you can monetize it, you can use it for, for your games, you can do whatever you want to do with it. So having said that, I think it's uh, we can we can just start. So first things first is that I'll create a folder for them. All right. So now I think uh, you're just gonna have one FPX file because I just grouped them all together and it's easier to import this way. So you just drag and drop it here. And uh, basically, what we want to do is that make sure that build nanite is not checked because we don't really want full age to be nanite. Uh, we want to go to advanced and. Under vertex scroll import options, we want, we, we want to select the replace. And with this, I think we're all set. And we just import it all. So this is the errors you get, which is like no splitting groups and some uh, name problems that Unreal Engine solves automatically. So as you can just pretty much clear it and exit out. This is all what you get here when you import it first. Let's see what errors we have here. So we had um, this guy. And if I open it up, we can just pretty much replace this because Iron Engine doesn't really like it for some reason. So we can just do this. All right. So now I think we fixed every single error we had. Um, you just want to go through all the materials and make sure that um, and make sure that we have an opacity channel because I think like ninety eight percent of them has opacity channel. Okay, so the way you can fix all these materials is that you select masked as the blending mode, tick two sided, and pretty much just connect the alpha channel, which uh, our engine didn't do automatically for us. So now. You have to do this for all of these. Of course, I'm going to do this for all of these. So if you downloaded the uh, project file, then I think you won't have this problem. So now let me do all of this. I finished up every single material, as you can see. So everything has now uh, a masked blending mode. Everything is two-sided and uh, the channels are connected properly. So now what I really want to do is that like drag and drop some into the scene and see if it, uh, oops, if it, uh, oops. If it uh, works or not. And yeah, it uh, pretty much works, I think. We have like uh, collisions there. So the IK is uh, like placing the leg on top of the foliage. We don't really want that, right? So now we have to disable all the collisions that came with this uh, foliage pack. So we disable all the collisions. 
uh, and then we set up the LODs. So this is what I'm going to do right now. So the process is that uh, I filter out all the static meshes like this, and then one by one, I'm going to open them. So there, here's my, uh, here's the static mesh. I'm going to collision, uh, remove collision, and under uh, LOD settings, I'm going to number of LODs, and I just, I'm just gonna pretty much set it to seven for every single one of these. So now this is going to, oh, it's faster than I thought it would be. So yeah, um, pretty much that's it. And now I'm going to save this. Now this uh, model has no collision and has seven LODs. So it's really, really, really good for uh, the performance. So now I'm going to do this for every single one of these. And if you're following along, instead of downloading the whole package, then I would recommend you doing this. Let me just pretty much go through all of these and uh, correct these. Okay, so I removed all the collisions and uh, set the level of detail to seven, the LOD is to seven. So now, as you can see, LOD seven, collision prints zero everywhere. So now that we have this, um, we can just pretty much organize this. And what was it, like half an hour or something? So we can just pretty much organize this and uh, create a flowers folder and put the flowers to the flowers folder and put the mushrooms to the mushrooms folder, the fern to the fern uh, folder and the grass to the grass folder. And basically this is it. You can start painting your whole environment with, again, free assets that is uh, CC attribution. And you can do whatever you want to do with it. Here you are, guys. And it was like it was like the, all of the, the finalized process uh, after importing the FBX file was like an hour or something. And for that, you get like 50 um, FBX files that you can just populate your sim with. So as I said, I'll create a flowers folder and I'll create fern folder and I'll also create a grass folder. So now we are nice and organized here. Okay, last things last before you, ha before you can uh, start populating your scene is that um, under materials you have to open up every single one of these um, which I'm going to do for you so if you downloaded the RNG file again you don't have to do this uh, and at the simple grass wind um, connected to the uh, vert position being lurped with a constant zero, which is like no grass wind. So this is a grass wind, this is no grass wind. Uh, and the alpha channel is the vertex color that the full edge has. So like this. Make this a parameter and then call this intensity, call this weight, call this speed, AVPO, which I don't really use ever. So, and now we can just select all of these and uh, group them with a wind here like this. We can pretty much apply this to every single one of the materials we have. So I can just copy this, open up another material that doesn't have wind yet, and uh, just pretty much connect it here. And I have to do this every single one of these uh, materials. So let's go. So here we go. Uh, yesterday, my Unreal Engine just crashed and it fucked me up so hard. I just went to play all night different games so now i'm back and as you can see uh if you wanted to see it in the editor i could i could do that for you uh the draw distance is really high here so now you can see all the way down there but the fps is 80 as you can see so uh it's on you to optimize it obviously because uh, it depends on your game, what you want to do, and your setup, what you want to do. So, here you are. A lot of foliage scattered around. Uh, everything has an instant material, so you can just pretty much um, set the global, uh, the simple grass wind. Or you can just delete it and set a global grass wind instead of using uh, a simple grass wind. And you have all these uh, free assets that uh, you would have to spend like hours on like searching up and downloading and optimizing and uh, vertex painting and stuff. Again, it's all of this is from Sketchfab. All of this has CC attribution and all the links are in the description uh, and also in the download files. So go ahead, show some love, like their uh, work and, and comment, on, comment on it. But anyways, so basically if I can package the whole project, then you'll see that link in the description. Obviously, I'm not sure if I can do that. Hopefully I can. If I can do that, then you pretty much just have to, you know, open up the Unreal Engine file that uh, you all download there 
and just come here to the stylized foliage pack, right click it and uh, migrate to your project. So then this is going to migrate um, every single one of the FBX files and materials and instance materials and everything will be and the LODs and everything will be set up for you um, correctly. So you don't have to do this whole process that I showed you in the video. If I can do that, you have to. So pretty much that's it. It really needs some optimization. But I think if you were to just reduce the uh, draw distance, that would uh, boost up the FPS quite a bit. And also if you were to uh, build the game, that gains you some FPS as well. So that's another thing you can do. But having said that, I think we're finished here. My camera's battery is about to die because I didn't charge it overnight. So thank you for watching and hopefully you liked it. Every single link in the description, credits in the description, go ahead and uh, download it, use it, whatever you want to do with it because it's full free and CC. Okay, so hopefully I will see you in the next one. So until that, goodbye.